time for TV Dinner. I'm Peter Paulson. And I'm Faith Wheeler. In today's top stories, the U.S. Department of Agriculture is changing the food pyramid to a plate. The new My Plate icon is designed to get children to eat healthy foods. Half of the plate will have vegetables and fruit, while the other half will have whole grains and lean proteins. Now, it sounds like a great idea. The question I have is, will a plate really help overweight kids? Is it just a picture that will get you there? Because in my humble opinion, IMHO, it's portion size, smaller portions. That's brilliant. I, I agree with you 100%. Or as the athletes say, 110%. Now, you know, what would you put in your plate? That's what I want to know. Well, I have my own five basic food groups that I tend to go with. They consist of sugar, salt, grease, alcohol, and caffeine. <laughs> you put all those together and you make one fine meal. It's like an omelet without the eggs. No, you, you coat everything with bacon grease. That's the first basic thing because then when you eat that, it coats the stomach for the alcohol that you'll be consuming later. Okay then. In other news Wait, stories... the caveat, you must be 21 years or older in order to use my five basic food groups. I'm sorry. On to other news on food. Fox News reports that watching cooking shows could actually make you fat. Now, Fox is unclear, what is it about the cooking shows that makes you fat? Is it the fact that you want to cook some more? I don't think so. Perhaps it's the commercials you're watching that make you fat. All those sugar cereals that are being sold in colorful bags of chips of all natures. Or perhaps it's that you're sitting down all day watching shows instead of getting outside. Nonetheless, we have Lori on the street to tell us more. Uh, do you watch cooking shows? Occasionally. Are you afraid they're going to make you fat? Watching the shows? Mm -hmm. No, no. <laughs> You're not tempted to eat throughout the show or after the show? Uh, no, I can't cook at all, so I'm not worried I'm going to get up and eat, cook something. Yeah. <laughs> I get very hungry, and I eat some kind of beef jerky substitute, but nothing more than that. And no, I just watch it, and I just get excited, and then I go on with my day. Well, I hate to admit it, but I think they're probably right. You think so? Well, I'll give you one quick comment. Why do you think McDonald's and all those people advertise continuously is because it's programming and the more you see it the more you want it. Well we've come out here to the Fillmore and asked people questions about whether they think that uh, food shows make them fat. Overall consensus is no. Everybody seems to have a pretty good handle on enjoying the food shows and I'd have to say that maybe Fox News is just making a meal out of a snack. Back to you Faith and Peter. You know I don't know if that's really true. Do you think so? I, I do not. But when I am watching food shows, I do find myself snacking a little bit and going to the refrigerator a little bit more often. And in Lynchburg, Tennessee, for the first time ever, Jack Daniels is revising its label. Apparently, the label was a little verbose because the people at Jack Daniels said they just had a lot to say. Well, now they have less to say, and they finally took away their population of 361. It's about time. You really think 361 people live in Lynchburg? Not so certain. The best part of all is that Lynchburg is a dry county. They can make the booze there, but they just can't drink it. And now in our Truth is Stranger Than Fiction file, Moscow Man Busted for Eating Friend's Liver. That's true. This is real stuff. Police in Russia have arrested a man who admitted to eating an acquaintance's liver after they found limbs ahead across Moscow and he was eating it with some potatoes. So that, to me, uh, means he was eating it warm because I, I was always wondering if it was a, uh, uh, more like a pate and he was eating it with uh, crackers or something like that. A chilled, a chilled liver. Um, but no, this one was a warm liver. And I'm assuming, but I don't want to step uh, out of my bounds here, but uh, there should be some grilled onions there too. And then, at the very end of our show, we always do a top 10. You may not know that, but we do. And here it is, the top 10 things not to say at a farmer's market. I start out with number 10. This carrot has dirt on it. True story. What kind of pesticides do you use? That's number nine. Number eight, how much biodiesel do you use to drive here from Iowa? Number seven, it's cheaper at Safeway. Number six, how much for one? Number five, was this lettuce humanely killed? Number four, is this fresh? Is this, is this? Annoying people. Number three, are the pineapples local? <laughs> yeah. Um, number two, are these free range beets? And the number one thing never to say at a farmer's market. 
Do you take American Express? I'll tell you, that's a way to win friends and influence people at the farmer's market. I mean, let's face it, I suppose they assume that these little yuppies don't really care about what they're purchasing anyway. Is that true? I think it is, but let's... Close? No, let's talk about the bags. Baggies! And, I mean, plastic bags at a farmer's market. Doesn't work. Doesn't put it together. You know, I just, uh, and, and, but, you know, some people have little gunny sacks and something made out of, you know... I don't want to say leather, but uh, something made out of, uh, you know, a... Uh, so these peaches are sustainable, yeah. and this bag is not. Will last 10,000 years. This will be eaten immediately and then go back into the dirt. This will stay in some landfill, and it's... it. But pe that's what... Uh, that island. It will become that island of bags. <gasps> that's right, out in the Pacific. A I know. huge island the size of Texas. It is. I think it's bigger. It's bigger now. Well, it's growing every well, day. Well, where I read it, it was... Uh, it was uh, a size of turkey. That's probably where the pineapples are growing. Anyway, thank you for joining us today. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, email us at www.tvdinnershow.com. Thanks and good night. So long.